Ijakishina, Ikaragi, we know, Ege Mogi Sagaga, Hikaire no. Hello! My name is He Who Comes to the Center of the Earth. My English name is Elliot Funmaker Sr. I'm 58 years old. I'm a member of the Ho Chunk Nation that resides in Wisconsin, United States of America. We are going to be doing the opening performance for a virtual Madison World Music Festival on September 11th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Our performance will give you a detailed performance of the Ho-Chunk culture and other native tribes. And so today I am going to be talking about one of our stories. One of the stories I want to talk to you about is the story of the drum, the big drum. We have hand drums, we have water drums, we have big drums. So the story of the big drum is, there was a village, and at this village, they were being spied on by a war party of warriors. And in the village, all the warriors left that village to go somewhere. And as they left, the other war party was watching them. And as they were watching them, they started surrounding the village. The war chief ordered everybody in that village to be killed. They gave the order and they started to attack the village. Only one survivor made it out of that village. This survivor went over to a nearby lake, pond, and jumped in it and swam and was hanging on to the bottom and had a willow wreath and busted off the ends and was breathing out of that. And so the warriors tracked this person to the water. And so they surrounded the water and they had torches. It started to become dark out. And they started walking towards the center of this lake. And they, they saw they saw the surviving person out of that village and was ready to grab this person. At that time, the creator grabbed this person, pulled them, pulled this person and was placed next to the creator. The creator said, I'm going to make you into a big drum. I'm going to give you the power. Whoever hears this drum will want to stop fighting and want to learn to live and love one another instead of fighting and killing each other. And so this person was made into a drum and was sent back. This story was told by my father, Ken Funmaker Sr., Wamani. At the time, he told me he was the Bear Clan leader. And we have, um, myself, there's... Um, I'm the third generation performer for these kind of performances that we give. And so we tend to tell things the way they are. And a lot of times the people are so amazed of how we survived. A lot of people have been through a lot of hard, hardships. Ho-Chunk Nation is one of those stories. But we are here. We are surviving. Sometimes living in three different worlds. And so it is very hard for our people to move on. But as you can see, 
we are still here. And so the last part I'm going to do is I'm going to sing you a song. My dad was a head singer for the Wisconsin Dells Singers and Dance Troupe. I am now the leader of that group. And so we do performances all over the United States. And I encourage each and every one of you, if you have not seen a Native American performance, powwow, or social gathering, I encourage you to go be involved. Some of these have, you have to pay. A lot of them are free. So when you go over there, be a part of this experience. It happens all the time throughout every weekend of the year. Somewhere in the United States, they have it. And so my father made this song. And it's for um, one of our Medal of Honor warriors that was killed in action during the Korean conflict. This individual was Corporal Mitchell Red Cloud. And my dad made this song for him. And it talks about his name and how he saw the battle and how he participated. And so these things are our nation like any other um, native nations throughout the United States and Canada and Mexico. We all have our warrior stories. And so I wanna share that with you. And um, so these, these things here are, I hold highly regarded. And so at this time, I'm gonna sing that song for you. They are in a giddy no, 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 they honey a good Day honey, no, 
Moti sabshade cha akha cha hale na kira na yaha Again, I want you to in enjoy our performance that's going to be held on Friday, September 11th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for the Madison World Music Festival. See ya. Bye.